Narcissists will always try to make somebody else out to be a narcissist. It's just in their nature. Generally, narcissists, uh, they don't care whether or not they're narcissists. They may know, they may not know. Frankly, most of the time they don't care. Occasionally this will change if they have a professional diagnosis, but generally speaking, it just isn't in their nature to really care or to think about whether or not they're narcissists. And usually what this means is they'll find somebody who is kind of going against the grain. They will find somebody who is like the family scapegoat, the black sheep of the family. Um, somebody who is generally uh, away from everybody else. Um, somebody who's very introverted or doesn't have a lot of friends or just doesn't get along well with the family or whatever. And they'll make that person out to be the narcissist. Their favorite terms to use are narcissist, schizophrenic, psychopath, and bipolar when referring to this individual. And that's because they're trying to redirect the attention, the focus, away from them. This is the only time they will try to redirect focus away from them. Generally speaking, narcissists want to be the center of attention. Uh, I have the DSM-5 TR here. Um, I'll give you the diagnostic criteria for narcissistic personality disorder here in just a minute. But narcissists, they'll use these terms without any real clinical understanding of what the terms actually mean. They'll throw them around all willy-nilly in an attempt to control the situation. Often this is um, followed by gaslighting, manipulation, outright lies. What gaslighting is, is gaslighting is a lie wrapped in the truth. Um, there's just enough truth to make it believable, to make you doubt your own sanity to make you doubt your own memories. And they will really make you question whether or not you're remembering things accurately or if you're losing your mind. Now, a good rule of thumb is that if you're questioning whether or not you are a narcissist, then you probably aren't a narcissist. Because as I said in the beginning, Narcissists generally don't care whether or not they're narcissists. They don't worry about it. It's not in their nature to really give a shit. Honestly, they want people to look up to them, to make them the center of attention. They want people to admire them. Um, they want people to praise them. They just want the attention. And if you do anything that goes against what they want, they will make you out to be the narcissist. They will make you out to be all about you. Whether you are doing something for your own mental health, for your own physical health, for your own well-being, or whatever, or whatever, they're going to make you out to be the narcissist because it goes against what they want. They want control. The diagnostic criteria here on page 760 of the DSM-5 TR, um, which is the Diagnostic Statistical Manual 5th Edition Text Revision. This is the most recent version of the DSM. Um, a pervasive pattern of grandiosity in fantasy or behavior, need for admiration, and lack of empathy. Beginning by early adulthood, and present in a variety of contexts as indicated by five or more of the following. Has a grandiose sense of self-importance, uh, exaggerates achievements and talents, expects to be recognized as superior without commensurate achievements, is preoccupied with fantasies of unlimited success, power, brilliance, beauty, or ideal love, believes that he or she is special and unique and can only be understood by or should associate with other special or high-status people or institutions. 
uh, requires excessive admiration, has a sense of entitlement, uh, i.e. unreasonable expectations of especially favorable treatment or automatic uh, compliance with his or her expectations, uh, is interpersonally exploitative, takes advantage of others to achieve his or her own ends, lacks empathy, is unwilling to recognize or identify with the feelings and needs of others, is often envious of others or believes that others are envious of him or her, shows arrogant, haughty behaviors or attitudes. Now in a family where narcissism is the norm, these narcissists, the extreme narcissists, will generally go un, unacknowledged uh, by the rest of the family. It'll be the black sheep of the family, the one who doesn't um, follow the family norms that will catch on to the narcissist. Um, now, that isn't to say everybody has narcissistic tendencies from time to time. Uh, we are all guilty of, you know, wanting to be admired or um, wanting the focus to be on us, um, wanting to be special, stuff like that. We are all guilty of not acknowledging other people's needs or wants. That's natural. That's normal. But narcissists will take that to the extreme. They will turn everybody they can against the person that is seeing through their bullshit. And what you have to remember, if this is you, if you're the one who is being gaslit into believing that you might be the narcissist. If you're the one who's having their mental health impacted, if you're the one who doesn't really fit in to the narcissist or the narcissistic family's world, you have to remember that narcissists don't care if they're narcissists. And they will try to make the outlier appear to be the narcissist or the bad guy. So I hope this helps. Um, I decided to do a video on this today because I've been experiencing something much like this recently. Um, and not just recently, I want to say it's been going on for a while, but it's becoming more prominent recently. I, I've really had my mental health impacted over the years because of the gaslighting, um, because of the manipulations, um, the lies, and everything else. And I really began to wonder if those lies, if what other people were saying was true. I really began to wonder if I was a narcissist. And looking back, looking at the diagnostic criteria, I don't meet the minimum criteria to be considered a narcissist. Everybody will meet uh, a one, two, maybe three parts of the criteria, but only true narcissists will meet the minimum criteria. So yeah, um, if this is you, take a breath, relax. You are not out of your mind. You are not losing your mind. You are being manipulated. You are being gaslit. And think about who's doing the gaslighting. Chances are they're the one that's the narcissist, not you. Uh -huh.